So this is my studio. Uh, these are all computer scanners. Right here I'm doing a shot of a flower blooming. And then this one is a banana peel in a ripening chamber that I made. So there's other bananas in there releasing ethylene gas, which causes fruit to ripen quicker. Down there is purple mustard seedlings. These are my uh, mealworms. This is a thermostat for the heat mats that is heating the earthworms. My name is Joel Penner and um, I'm a time-lapse film artist. I grew up in Winnipeg's West End, which is um, sometimes pretty gritty. I fell in love with the idea of photographing urban decay and finding beauty in that. And um, I've also always loved plants. So I started doing time lapses of uh, flowers drying out. Around then, I spent a summer working in Germany. There was a, a curator at a local botanical garden who allowed me to take a bunch of flowers from their collections. And then I got back to Canada and I started to make videos just highlighting the beauty of these scenes. Then from flowers, I started getting into the beauty of common weeds. And then from weeds, I got into looking at Canadian mosses. And then from there, I got into the rock project. My current film is called Rot, and I'm working on it with um, my friend Anna Sigurther. It's a time-lapse art film about our relationship with decay. So it's sort of like looking at things that decay that we like, so like fermented foods, but also um, decaying things that we don't like, like rotting animals and spoiling produce. One of the things that I've been working on recently is watching squash mold and then placing raspberries or other berries near the squash. Molds can sort of like sense the presence of food in their vicinity. And so you can sort of get a squash moldy and then put a berry nearby and then watch it jump over. And so then you can watch the like, beautiful process of the mycelium of the fungus uh, growing. With my films, I want to show the beauty of nature in a way that will make people care about protecting it. It. I think the universe is fascinating and beautiful. I think art helps you to get at that visceral sense of beauty and a sense of wonder. I remember when I was growing up, um, watching documentaries and watching nature films helped me to develop a passion for um, nature in the world. And I hope to do the same thing with my films.